Type 625E is a Chinese short-range air defense system designed to address gaps in China's multi-layered air defense strategy. It integrates a 6-barrel 25mm Gatling gun with an effective range of up to 2.5 kilometers and an altitude ceiling of 2 kilometers. It also includes two blocks of 4FN-16 air defense missiles with a maximum range of 6 kilometers. Mounted on an 8-wheeled high-mobility chassis, similar to the ZBL-08 wheeled infantry fighting vehicle, it offers high mobility across various terrains. The system combines a search radar, a tracking radar, and an optoelectronic tracking system capable of detecting and tracking low-flying aircraft, drones, helicopters, and cruise missiles. The onboard fire control system continuously monitors targets, calculates their trajectories, and determines optimal interception positions. The Type 625E is often compared to the Russian Panzer system, which also combines anti-aircraft guns with short-range air defense missiles. However, Panzer variants typically offer longer ranges and enhanced radar capabilities. Its combination of high mobility, effective armament, and sophisticated detection systems positions it as a formidable asset in modern military operations. The Smash 3000 rifle, developed by the Israeli company Smart Shooter, represents a significant advancement in military technology, featuring an automatic targeting and acquisition system. This weapon integrates artificial intelligence and computer vision for autonomous target detection and aiming, housed in a robust body design to endure harsh conditions. The innovation enhances shooting accuracy, achieving an impressive 80% hit accuracy when firing from a standing position at a distance of 650 feet, a challenging feat due to the lack of hand support. Additionally, the rifle is tailored for combat against small drones, allowing soldiers to accurately target and neutralize aerial threats before they approach. The targeting system functions effectively both during the day and at night. The Smash 3000 employs proprietary algorithms for target acquisition and tracking, combined with sophisticated image processing software, which allows for precise engagement of both aerial and ground targets, significantly increasing hit probability. A dual-core computer processes ballistic data, analyzing various environmental factors such as distance, wind, and humidity to determine the optimal moment for firing, achieving a hit probability of up to 95%. The system includes a digital camera and a display for the shooter, providing visual feedback and alerts. It can lock onto moving targets and offers a visual indicator to assist in aiming. A trigger guard mechanism prevents firing when the likelihood of a hit is low. The LD-1 Armored ATV is a specialized vehicle designed primarily for law enforcement and tactical operations, offering enhanced safety and mobility in challenging environments. Built on the Polaris Sportsman 850 ATV platform, the LD-1 combines off-road capabilities with advanced armor technology, making it an essential asset for various missions. This modular design allows for easy maintenance and quick repairs, ensuring that the vehicle remains operational in the field. The LD-1 includes a shield module that not only only offers protection but can also transform into a mobile cover for multiple individuals. This feature enhances the vehicle's versatility in combat situations. The LD-1 maintains excellent off-road capabilities, making it suitable for various terrains. This is particularly crucial for law enforcement operations that may require rapid response in urban environments or rugged landscapes. The vehicle's design is optimized for tight spaces, allowing it to navigate urban environments where traditional armored vehicles may be too large or cumbersome. The BOA 6x6 is an unmanned ground vehicle developed by Electroland Defense, designed for multiple purposes with hybrid and semi-autonomous capabilities. It integrates both electric and hydraulic motors, enhancing its versatility and endurance in various operational scenarios. The vehicle can be operated remotely, providing flexibility and safety in hazardous environments, allowing it to adapt to different terrains and improve its mobility and performance in diverse conditions. The BOA 6x6 can be equipped with various payloads, 
payloads, making it suitable for a wide range of missions, including terrain exploration, patrol, and medical evacuation. Notably, it has a module that can be remotely controlled and can carry a stretcher, making it ideal for medical evacuations. The remote-controlled module lift system can lower the stretcher to the ground, allowing the TMR2 to pull and extend it to accommodate the injured person. One of the most important features of the BOA 6x6 is its ability to safely transport wounded personnel from the battlefield, even if the injured are unconscious or unable to move. This ensures that the injured can be taken to a rescue area using the vehicle's resources and available equipment, providing the safest evacuation possible. The Raymetal KZO is an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, developed primarily for reconnaissance and target acquisition in military operations. Its main role is to detect mobile threats and provide precise target locations for artillery units. This capability is critical for modern artillery operations, allowing for effective engagement of enemy forces. The KZO is launched using a booster rocket from its container and lands with a parachute. It incorporates stealth technology to reduce its visual, acoustic, radar, and infrared signatures enhancing its survivability in hostile environments. The KZO can be operated in various conditions, day or night, and is capable of being reprogrammed mid-flight to respond to changing battlefield scenarios. It provides continuous reconnaissance and can confirm or supplement information gathered by other intelligence sources. The system typically consists of 10 UAVs and two ground control units, including a control station and maintenance vehicles. The KZO is being phased out and replaced by the Luna NG drone, which is part of a broader modernization effort within the German Army's UAV capabilities. The transition reflects advancements in drone technology and the need for more sophisticated reconnaissance systems in modern warfare. The KZO's design and operational capabilities illustrate its significance in enhancing the effectiveness of artillery operations and overall battlefield awareness for military forces. The Type 87 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun is a Japanese air defense weapon co-designed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Japan Steelworks. It is built on a modified chassis of the Type 74 main battle tank, which provides robust mobility and durability akin to the German Flak Panzer Jeopard. The Type 87 is equipped with two Erlikon KDA 35mm autocannons that can fire at a rate of 550 rounds per minute per barrel. It is capable of firing a variety of ammunition types, including high-explosive, incendiary, semi-armor-piercing, and anti-missile rounds, and is also fitted with two smoke grenade dischargers. The vehicle has a land speed of up to 36 miles per hour and an operational range of 190 miles. It utilizes radar-assisted target acquisition with a gyroscopically stabilized tracking radar, ensuring accurate targeting even while moving. The Type 87 entered service with the Japan Self-Defense Forces in the 1980s, replacing the American M42 Duster SBAG with over 50 units produced, many of which remain in service today. Designed to engage low-flying aircraft, including helicopters and drones, the Type 87 has been noted for its effectiveness in this role. However, it may face challenges against modern, high-speed aerial threats that operate at greater distances. The Type 87 represents a significant advancement in Japan's air defense capabilities, combining modern technology with a robust chassis to fulfill its intended operational requirements. Ukrainian forces have demonstrated remarkable ingenuity by creating an improvised weapon consisting of six AK-74 assault rifles combined together. This Gatling machine gun features six AK-74 rifles mounted on a circular, hand-welded iron structure, secured to an internal frame with a central charging handle and trigger system that interconnects all six individual triggers, allowing for synchronized discharge. The rifles are mounted on a round base with a metal tube welded from one end to the other, acting as a tie. Despite 
despite the heavy weight of the six guns, the mount remains sturdy. The connecting metal tube is attached to another tube perpendicular to the base of the first tube, enabling a handle to control the movement of the entire structure through 360 degrees. This handle is connected to the handle that pulls the breech of each gun, so when pulled down or towards the soldier, all six assault rifles are loaded simultaneously. The entire structure is mounted on a tripod for stability. This improvised weapon has been repurposed primarily for counter-drone operations. It was created to increase the volume of fire, potentially enhancing the likelihood of hitting aerial targets such as the Iranian-made Shahid-136 large suicide drones. However, despite its visually striking synchronized fire, the weapon has shown limitations in effectively intercepting drones, as footage indicates that the drones often escape unharmed. The creation of this 6 AK-74 weapon highlights the resourcefulness and adaptability of Ukrainian forces in response to the challenges posed by kamikaze drones. While its effectiveness against drones remains questionable, it stands as a testament to the innovative and adaptive strategies employed by Ukrainian forces in the face of evolving threats on the battlefield. Russia, like many other nations, is actively developing advanced military technology, including large combat drones. While much of the technology in this domain remains classified, and the rapidly evolving nature of drone warfare makes it challenging to pinpoint specific models, there are some notable trends and possibilities to consider. The drone's large size suggests a significant payload capacity, potentially allowing it to carry a variety of weapons. While primarily designed as a stealthy combat drone, it could be adapted to carry different armaments. Potential weapons weapon systems may include missile launchers and machine guns. The combination of drone technology with other platforms, such as tanks or armored vehicles, could lead to larger, more heavily armed systems. The rapidly changing nature of drone warfare makes it difficult to pinpoint specific models or capabilities. The field of drone warfare continues to evolve rapidly, with a significant portion of the cutting-edge technology remaining classified.